Okay, students. Now we are going to start with the sixth problem. So here, look at this one carefully. What they have given? They have given the value of a. A is equal to two. They have given, and difference is equal to eight. They have given. S n is equal to ninety. They have given. And they are asking us to find out n and a n. So first we have to find out the value of n. Then we have to find out the value of a n. So here, how can we solve this one? Already we know that when we know two formulas in the arithmetic progression, a n is equal to a plus n minus one into t. One more, s n is equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into d. Okay, here, see here, here already we know the value of a. We know the value of a. We know the value of d. We know the value of s n. Therefore, it is very easy to find out the value of n here. So, therefore, we will take the s n formula here. Okay, we will take the s n formula here. If we substitute the value to this one here, only we know the value of a and we know the value of d, but we don't know the value of a n and n. So that's why we are going to use the s n formula here. So write the s n formula. S n is equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into D. Now what will happen? What is the S n value they have given? S n value is ninety is equal to n value. We don't know n by two into two into a is what? Two into two plus n minus one into d is what? Eight. Okay. Now what will happen? Now what will happen? Ninety into two means send this to this side. What will happen? Ninety into two equal to n into two to the four plus Eight n minus eight. It means eight we have to multiply to n once, and eight we have to multiply to minus one once. So it will become ninety into two, one eighty equal to n into minus eight plus four. It will become minus four plus eight n. Okay. Now multiply this into in the, n inside the bracket. One eighty is equal to minus four n plus eight n square. Eight n square. Okay, the next step. What will happen? Bring this one eighty this side. So here we will arrange this one in the proper manner. What will happen? Eight n square minus four minus four n minus one eighty. So here what we have to do? Here we got an factorization equation. So here this one is in the form of factor method. So we have to do the factorization here. So here they have done the factorization here. See look at here. How they have done the factorization? So how to do the factorization? Now look at this one carefully. Now look at here. Eight, four n, and something is there. So eight n square minus four n minus one eight is there. Whole term we can divide it by two because eight is also divisible by two, four is also divisible by two, and one eight is also divisible by two. Therefore, if we divide whole equation by two, what will happen? It will become four n square. Sorry, we can divide it by four also. So what we will do? If we divide it by four, means it will become two n square. So here, if we divide it by four, it will become two n square minus four divided by four means only n is remaining. Here, divided by four, four is sixteen again. Two is remaining. The remaining is what is that one? Forty five is there. So now, if we do the factorization here, forty five two is a Ninety. If we split this ninety into two terms, what will happen? If we split this ninety into two terms, it means ten. Nine is a ninety. A bigger number sign is minus. Smaller number sign is minus. A plus. We will put it. And here we have to split n into two terms. So in the next step, two n square minus ten n plus nine n minus. Forty-five. In the next step, these to take common in these two two steps. Two n if we take common means one two and one n we have to take, return it outside. So n is remaining minus two. How much is ten? Two five sir. So same thing. N minus five. Write it here. And what is there with the n? Plus nine. Write it outside. Two n plus nine and n minus five. Okay. In the next step, what we have to do? Substitute the value here. Two n plus nine is equal to zero. Once n minus five is equal to zero. Here two n is equal to minus nine. N is equal to minus nine by two. So this one is not possible. Here n is equal to if we send this five that side it will become plus five. So n is equal to five is the answer. So in the question what they are given, 
they have given us to find the value of n so we find the n value of n as phi next is what a n it means we have to find the value of a phi how to find the value of a phi a phi is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d here a phi is equal to a is what 2 plus n value phi minus 1 into d is what what's the value of d 8 so if we substitute this one a phi is equal to 2 plus 8 for the 32 32 plus 2 34 so here the value of a phi is 34 so either you can follow this method or you can follow this method also whatever is the printed notes is there so which were which which one you find easy you can solve